Hey friends, welcome. I want to start with a question. Have you ever felt stuck? Stuck in the same routines, the same thoughts, or maybe even the same bad habits. You know, I think most of us have at one point or another. But what if I told you that you have the power to change all of that? And I mean literally change the way your brain works. Now, this is not some feel-good self-help idea. It's grounded in neuroscience. It's called neuroplasticity. And it's your brain's ability to reshape and rewire itself. This means that you're not just a product of your past. You can be the architect of your future. Now, today I want to share how this incredible concept can be a game changer for personal growth. We're going to look at how you can use it to learn new skills, break bad habits, and even build resilience. By the end, I hope you'll leave here not only inspired, but empowered to use the science of neuroplasticity in your everyday life. So, let's start with the basics. What exactly is neuroplasticity? Well, in simple terms, it's your brain's ability to adapt, change, and even reshape itself. Imagine your brain is a network of roads. Every thought, action, or habit you repeat is like taking the same road over and over again. The more you travel it, the smoother and faster it becomes. Now, this isn't just an idea. It's science. Dr. Michael Merzenich a leading neuroscientist found that even the adult brain can form new connections. So that whole you can't teach an old dog new tricks idea? It's a bunch of crap. You can teach an old brain new tricks, whether you're learning to play the guitar at 15 or trying to master coding at 50. Now, let's talk about learning something new. Have you ever started learning a new skill like playing an instrument, speaking another language, or even a new sport? At first it feels awkward, right? You make mistakes, it feels low, and you probably want to quit. But if you keep at it, you start to get better. That's because your brain is creating new neural pathways. There's actually a famous study that's really cool. It shows this in action. Researchers studied London taxi drivers, who have to memorize the city's complex streets before they can even start driving passengers. They found that the part of the brain responsible for navigation, the hippocampus, literally grew larger in these people. So, the next time you feel frustrated while trying to learn something new, remember this. Your brain is working hard behind the scenes, adapting to help you master that skill. Now, let's be real. We all have bad habits we want to break, right? Maybe it's procrastination, negative self-talk, or eating junk food. The good news is that neuroplasticity also works in reverse. Just like you can create new pathways for good habits, you can weaken the old pathways that you want to get rid of. Now, imagine this. You've been walking that same trail in the woods for years, and one day you decide to stop using it and start carving a new path. Over time, that old trail becomes overgrown, while the new one becomes more defined. Dr. Jeffrey Schwartz at UCLA has shown this in his work with people struggling with OCD. He taught them to actively redirect their thoughts and over time, their brains showed less activity in the circuits driving their compulsive behaviors. So, if you want to break a habit, remember that every time you choose the new path, you're weakening the old one. Let's shift gears to something we all need more of. Resilience. Life is unpredictable. We all face setbacks, stress, and challenges. But what if I told you that you could train your brain to handle these situations better? It's true. Neuroplasticity allows your brain to find new ways to cope, even in the face of adversity. Dr. Richard Davidson, 
a neuroscientist at the University of Wisconsin, found that practices like meditation can literally change the brain structure. People who meditate regularly have a thicker prefrontal cortex, which helps with emotional regulation. So the next time you feel overwhelmed, think of it like a river encountering a fallen tree. The water doesn't stop. It just finds a new way around the obstacle. You can train your brain to do the same, creating new mental pathways that lead to greater strength and adaptability. But here we go. Here's the catch. There's always a catch, isn't there? Neuroplasticity requires consistency. You can't expect to build a muscle going to the gym just one time, right? The same goes for your brain. You have to consistently practice the new skills, habits, or ways of thinking that you want to develop. There's a saying in neuroscience. Neurons that fire together, wire together. Now, that's just a fancy way of saying that the more you repeat something, the stronger the neural connection becomes. And Dr. Angela Duckworth's research on grit supports this idea. It's not just talent that leads to mastery. It's consistent effort. So, whether you're learning a new skill, trying to be more positive, or changing a habit, keep at it. The brain needs time to make those changes stick. So here's the bottom line. You are not stuck. You are not limited by your past habits or mistakes. Your brain is like clay. It's moldable, changeable, and adaptable. Neuroplasticity tells us that change isn't just possible. It's inevitable when you put in the effort. So I want you to ask yourself, What's one small action you can take today that could start reshaping your neural pathways? Whether it's picking up a new skill, breaking a bad habit, or building more resilience. Remember this. You are the gardener of your own mind. The seeds you plant today can transform the landscape of your brain tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time today, friends, and let's all commit to creating the change that we want to see. One thought, one habit, and one new neural connection at a time. Thanks for joining me today. This is my favorite part of every day, the time I get to spend with you, because you're amazing, you're brilliant, and I really like you. So we're going to hit this up tomorrow. I'm going to come back with some new ideas, and it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Take care.